So boom guys, in today's video we have another PSA return. So obviously we have the vintage return uh, in this submission and this is some modern bits and a few other bits. I don't know really what's in here. Uh, but basically in here, it's just gonna have, I don't think there's anything too crazy in here. It's just stuff I've pulled from recent sets uh, and instead of selling raw, I thought I'd grade them. And yeah, these are kind of the cards and we're gonna see what are the results and I honestly can't remember what I've sent. And there's a few personal bits as well. So a lot of this is for selling just because obviously it's better to grade them than selling them uh, raw. Because uh, you can make a little bit more money depending on the card. But I think majority of it is English, like the Hisuian Samurai here. So yeah, we've got the Hisuian Samurai. Let's see what's got. A chain mint sense here. I've just come off doing the, um, the vintage submission. So um, I'm not used to getting a load of tens, but oh, Ace Arola, the Japanese went through the moon. I was, I was onto it early, but I sent the English one instead. I did have a load of the Japanese one. I remember they were like 40, 50 pound. And I thought they were cheap for relatively what they are. Obviously you got the Battle Day Ace Arola, but oh no, a nine. Uh, I don't want a nine, but yeah, left to right centering is awful, but I packed it. Instead of selling it raw, I thought I'd grade it, but yeah, nines. With the nines, I don't know where the values could be. It might be raw plus graded, so it might not be worth much. But oh, we got the Scarlet and Violet Jack here. Gem Min 10, I'll take that. It might be our second one. I think we have one already. But yeah, we'll take a Jack, not bad. Oh, this one. If you've seen, oh, this is probably the biggest one here. So I don't know if I'll save this to the end. I'm going to save it to the end, build up the suspense. But basically that card there, we cracked it out of a slab, which was an 8.5. So I'll be intrigued to see what the grade is. Okay, so like I said, a lot of English here. A mint nine again. So we see the skull and violet English is very hard to grade. So I'm going to see how these will do. Oh, we got Miriam in a 10. Let's go. To be fair, the corners are very nice on this. Surprisingly for the Scarlet and Violet English. Miriam 10. Oh, 9. I did sell. We did have one of the first Miriam's English PSA graded in the UK. And it did sell for 400. And then we had the 9, which sold for about 160. So I wonder where those prices now. I think maybe a 10 is closer to 160. And this might be a bit less now. But I thought I'd grade it anyways. And hopefully we could slide a 10. But unfortunately not. But boom. Oh, we got Penny. Gemini 10 on the Penny though. I'll take that. And yeah, we've got a card show coming up. So these will be nice for that. Plus, we sell them on our website, Famous Girl. If you do want to buy some slabs, but oh, more pennies. Oh, I'm in nine there. So yeah, unfortunately, boom, unfortunately, couldn't get 10. Okay, okay. So this one was sitting in my selling pile. I bought a bulk collection of a guy. Uh, and this was in the binder at the conventions, but they didn't really sell. And I thought, let me grade them, but we've got a mint nine there. Because uh, even at a nine, like, it isn't too bad. But I'm intrigued to see if we got the other one here. Let's see. Okay, as you can see, very top short. If we can get the missed card, this will be epic. A bloody six. So to get a six, it would have to knock it down a grade. So I don't know where it could get a six. I think it might be uh, the corner here, maybe a little bit bent. I have no idea. But I was hoping nine missed cut on this. As you can see, top short. Honestly, to get the six, I feel like if you could shine the light there. I don't know if the like, camera is capturing it well, but you see how it shines along there. Don't know if that's bent there. Don't know if that's happening in the grading process. What's going on there? Is there much room? Don't know if there's much room for movement, so. Honestly, I don't know why that's a six, but yeah, six there. Boom. Okay, that reverse one there. But yeah, we'll take it, we'll take it. But oh, this Yoxies. I think I need one in my collection. I think we got nines last time, guys. But yo, Gem Mint 10. So we'll take that. I believe we might have another one. Gem Mint 10. So boom, let's go. So yeah, I did need one. I think we got the nine when I did my V-Star return. And I didn't get any of these in a 10. I, the Yoxies were my favorites. So definitely got to keep one. I'll sell one to you guys as well. We've got the Roxanne Crown Zenith. Again, these ain't too expensive cards, and the most of the submission isn't too expensive because it's mainly English today. Um, but Gem Mint 10, but I thought I'd send them instead of selling raw. But oh, Friends and Sinner, this one's doing really good in Japanese. But oh. why all the ones that we need 10s in our 9s? But yeah, left, right, centering, leave you a little bit. But a 9 there, but oh, the 9 to 10 ratio isn't looking good. But that's what happens when you grade majority English. But Dark Right. Uh, Nine as well is that centering i really just got not set like sometimes i think like this sort of stuff would slide a 10 but unfortunately it doesn't so yeah nine there unfortunately oh this one's sick dark magician girl uh and yeah i bought this for my personal collection if you can get uh, yes 
Yes, we got a 10. I'll take that. So this is an exclusive Ghost Rare 2 Japanese. And yes, I needed a 10 on this one uh, for the collection. Because Japanese have printed well, right? And yeah, I thought, I don't know. I just needed it for the collection. It does look pretty sick. So, yo, we'll take that. Dark Magician Girl Ghost Rare. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a Ghost Rare. And very sick. So, yo, I'll take that. Ooh, so we've got a lot of world promos now. So this return's going to be pretty quick. I'm just going to fly through it because the vintage one was pretty long. But, ooh, Korean Gem Mint 10. I think I'm, I don't know what we got previously, but Gem Mint 10 there. Let's go. So, yeah, this is all. Uh, we've got a lot of worlds here, excluding English and Japanese. I've already sent all the all of the ones I had. But I did buy a collection on eBay about not too much per piece. Okay, nine. And yeah, I was hoping we get some good grades here. Let's go. We've got French, nine. Ooh. Okay, Thai. Shout out to my Thai gang. Let's go. Gem in 10. We've got a lot of Thai cards at the moment, including Sodomin Thai. Uh, so, yo, if you want to grab some of that, make sure you hit the link in the description. But Gem in 10, they're loving that. I love to the Thai language. Clicked in Thai as well. So, big up the Thai. But let's go. German Gem in 10. Let's go. So, let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, Spanish Gem in 10. Let's go. A lot more Gem in 10s here than in my previous ones okay oh, nine in italian there okay so yo not bad we've got about four gem in tens i'll take them but oh back into the main set stuff here we go we've got crown zenith adaman eight oh eight i might just throw this in the mystery graded cards at this point if you don't know we sell mystery graded cards around the 20 pounds value so probably gonna be like a 20 pound card so instead of selling 20 pound cards i'll just throw them in there unless i got quite a few of them definitely grab some mystery graded cards guys we have tons of cool stuff in there and yeah it's all around the 20 pound value but okay we've got some japanese alts i bought this off of the, my discord not too bad but yeah gem in 10 i thought it was a sleeper like 20 cup pound a card at the time might have gone up now oh we did get a mint nine on one of them i really wanted to keep one you know I think I kept one and these two are for sale. I don't know if I bought two or three, but I wouldn't have sent the my personal one if I did have one. I don't think I have one actually. I don't have one. Because in my I remember memory, in my old art selection of my grading pile is pretty much nearly dry. I've sent most of it, so I don't have one of these. Unless I've already got one graded, my memory doesn't serve me right. But EV Heroes Korean, we do have the Sylveon V in a mint nine so i thought i'd grade some of these why not some nice evolutions hopefully some nice cheapies for people obviously got the conventions going on we've got the leaf young gem mint 10 there i'll take that oh so yeah the future subs are mainly going to be like really good heat stuff like this stuff is just like in the mid range like you're talking around the 30 to 50 60 range uh the future subs mainly like 100 pound plus cards so definitely stay tuned for that we've got the leaf young rainbow korean and gem in 10 will take that as well so yeah i thought obviously we want to try and offer like a variety of stuff obviously for all price ranges but yo let's go let's go with the leaf young v star from v star universe with gem in 10 now i have to check if i have one or not if i don't have one graded then i'll have to keep it i can't remember if i sent it because of that reason or not um but yeah gem in 10 because i know one of them i didn't get gem in 10 but oh we got simi seer here uh, nine or oh, left to right centering head really really shows there but makes sense a nine there a okay, nine pile oh really nine and tens are really close to each other usually with the modern stuff i think majority tens okay we get into one piece romance dawn so i opened one romance dawn uh one piece box i did a video i didn't really upload it because op01 released a while ago now and then we was into op02 we got op02 and op01 around the same time uh and then i only opened when we got the restock we do sell them on our store for retail and we will have op03 coming out uh so stay tuned if you like one piece but gem mint 10 on the shanks so this is just a regular secret rare not the manga shanks or anything like that that's that's the best pull out in my box so these are the two best ones in my box this is the old arts here uh ulti and a gem mint 10 on that one so not too expensive cards raw but better than selling them raw, I better grade them because you get a little bit more money uh, if they can get 10. So I'll take that. Okay, now we're into some vin. Oh, let's go, Karida. That's even so boom. Into Scarlet and Violet. If I said vintage, my bad, my bad. Opening too much vintage earlier. But Karida EX Gem in 10 English. We'll take that. We'll take that. I think I've got three in my next submission. Like I have five in my personal collection. So I pulled five. I think I sent three off. So this one probably for sale. If it's in this submission, Gem in 10 as well. We'll take it. Very nice. So boom, we'll take that. Ooh, Roxanne Japanese. Now we had the English and a Gem in 10 there in the Japanese. Let's go. 
and then boom final one is this one so this one has been regraded from an 8.5 uh cgc uh and yeah i was selling on the it's gone up in price now i don't know what the values are in the 10 but chemin 10 let's go i was saying to people buy it and regrade it but no one wanted to buy it and regrade it uh it was on my ebay for time should i check the price it was at i can't find my listing i'll delete the listing now that i took it off for sale but i think i had it around the 40 range the card to be fair wasn't too expensive at the time maybe 40 to 60 raw like 30 to 60 if you're lucky um and yeah to get a 10 on this i think right now with the uh the trainer hype especially sunny moon trainer ultra shiny gx right here uh this is a 100 plus clear card so luckily i took the risk to regrade and yeah we'll take it we'll take it it was just a card i bought in a bulk collection and it wasn't selling and i thought for fun experiment let me see what an 8.5 can translate into uh psa so yeah we'll save that one for the end the most probably most expensive and valuable one here uh but yeah not the greatest results i'd say because the majority nines to be honest when i look back at this submission when it got shipped i was like oh why did i send a lot of this stuff off uh but it's just majority of the stuff here is just stuff that i've pulled that i don't want to sell raw and make less money i can try and grade it get more money for it so it's kind of the purpose in here but yeah stay tuned for the future subs we've got some big cards in there uh, but yeah we just like to have as well price for all price range like you got this this be like near not too bad but like these sort of stuff like really nice pieces for the collection still and not too expensive so hopefully you can offer a nice variety of stuff and not just high-end and expensive cards on our store uh so guys if you want to like and subscribe make sure hit the uh make sure to like and subscribe as well as hit the link in the description famous grail a lot of these cards will be listed by the time this video goes live um but you know i'm really i'm really gassed about that one that was pretty fun it was fun to crack and see the results and to get a 10 it was all worth it so thank you so much guys for the support like subscribe see you next time peace